Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen a scenario where each and every transaction that is getting committed to the transaction backstack is just increasing backstack count again and again. And we ended the previous video by saying that if at all we want to remove that particular entry from the transaction backstack, then we will have to use pop backstack method of the fragment manager. So in this video, we will once again go through a demo to understand how the pop backstack works. So it's the same old code base that I have modified. Now only the difference is in the layout file, I have separated pop backstack as a, another button action. The earlier removal of the fragment which was happening on the back pressed is now happening exclusively through another button called as remove. So if you go to the main activity, in the button pop fragment, fragment transaction will get popped and that is why you will see fragment manager dot pop backstack method and the earlier code that we had written in the on back pressed now i have put it in the button remove fragment which basically corresponds to this particular button so let us run and see what happens and once again we will be observing the backstack entry count as we add and remove the fragment transaction to the fragment backstack so when i add you can observe that backstack count got increased and as i keep on adding the backstack entry kept on increasing and then what happens on click of pop is that particular top entry which is the most recent entry from the stack gets popped and this can go on and on and on till you hit zero and if you click pop again basically there is no entry in the back stack and no pop happens and in the same way if i add three fragments and then remove which is just a remove transaction entry into the fragment back stack you can see that that is why the count increased to four and when i click on the pop the remove fragment three entry that was there in the transaction back stack got removed but after that the add fragment three which was there earlier that came to the top of the back stack and you can see that particular fragment and once again if you click pop again and again it will continue however one thing that you should be aware is if I add fragments and if I remove twice and then try to pop the first time it works fine but since you cannot remove two fragments again and again if I try to pop that again you will come across an exception the exception that you see is illegal state exception. Unfortunately, the message that it gives in the locket is not very intuitive, but the overall idea is you have to be very careful in terms of how many times you are adding a particular fragment transaction to the transaction backstack. And you cannot simply randomly pop and remove these things. You have to keep track of the number of times you have added a particular fragment, which fragment that you have added and pop them appropriately but however if you go back to this main activity and try to write some other methods you will see that there are some other overloaded methods like pop backstack which takes two integer as arguments string and integer as a argument let us spend some time in understanding it so having seen the demo now let us understand that there are some of the other methods in the fragment manager which are overloaded pop backstack methods to understand this we will assume that we are doing the same set of operations that is we are adding fragment 1 2 and 3 very first one in which we already saw in the demo it is pretty straightforward you just pop individual entries from the backstack but what happens in case of fragment manager dot pop backstack with the two integers as arguments the first integer argument is the backstack position up to which you want to pop the backstack and the second argument is two built-in values that you pass as the arguments one is integer value zero and the another one is pop backstack inclusive which is a constant in the fragment manager and the value of this particular constant is one so assuming that you have passed zero and zero as the arguments for the pop backstack method the backstack entries three and two would be removed but one which is at the backstack position zero would be left as it is untouched without popping it however if you pass the arguments zero and 
pop back stack inclusive then all the entries till you reach a particular position which includes the position that you passed would be removed and that is why the name of the constant is pop back stack inclusive there is another pop back stack method which takes string and integer as the argument the second argument which is an integer is same as discussed before that is it can take zero and pop back stack inclusive as the arguments but what is first argument which is a string type we will understand all of this through a demo so let us modify the code and what we will do is the first argument is zero second argument is also zero and let me run this now we will be only concerned with pop back stack method so we will add these fragments and then when i click pop it is basically the zeroth fragment till which we want to remove but not including the zeroth transaction entry so when i click on the pop you will observe that it removes all these three entries but only one is left and that is why backstack count is one however instead of passing another zero as the second argument if i pass pop backstack inclusive you will see the difference you will add and then i will hit the pop backstack and now all the four backstack entries will get removed and you will actually see the backstack is zero in the same way i can try one and see what happens i can add multiple fragments and i am saying pop backstack one that means basically all these entries would be removed because i am using inclusive and you should be able to see the very first add sample fragment with the backstack count as one and let me do a pop and that's exactly what you will see this will make you clear in terms of what does these two integer constants mean there was another pop backstack which was taking a string as the first argument the string that you are going to pass as the first argument is the string that you had used to add it to the backstack so i can use add sample fragment as the entry then let us see what happens we will once again make this particular value as zero let me add three fragments and now i will do a pop and what it basically did is it went through the backstack entry till there was an entry with a string constant add sample fragment and remove the transactions till that entry but not including that entry however if I use inclusive as the constant once again we will observe that if I do a pop now all the values including the add sample fragment will get popped but what happens if I had multiple sample fragments so if I do a pop what will it do so let us do a pop now you will observe that all the initial add sample fragments were removed till it hit a entry which was not a sample fragment and if i do another pop now it will remove all the fragments till once again it reaches add sample fragment and that is why the backstack count is zero with this video we complete transaction backstack of fragments and in the next video we move on to a new topic in fragments that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye